What's up guys and it's happening. The history is in the making. Huawei has just announced its official Harmony OS, also known as Hongmang OS slash Arc OS. You have all those names, but officially it's going to be called as Hongmang OS in China and worldwide it's going to be called as Harmony OS. Apparently Huawei has been working on this for 10 years. 10 years ago, Huawei imagined a future with a seamless operating system and it's now happening. Right after the announcement, Huawei sent me the official media press kit of the Harmony OS explaining everything which is new with the software and what its top features are. According to the CEO Richard Yu, Harmony OS is completely different from Android and iOS. It is a micro kernel based distributed OS that delivers a smooth experience across all scenarios. Because of micro based kernel system, it can be adopted to various different things very easily and also has a secure architecture. It's going to be very easy for developers to develop apps for this software because once they develop the app, they can flexibly deploy them across different range of devices. The press kit further explains that Huawei OS is a lightweight, compact operating system with powerful functionality. It's not only developed for phones, it can also work on smartwatches, smart screens, in vehicle systems, smart speakers, routers. I mean, this is is a whole open source ecosystem which Huawei is implementing and it's gonna be a huge competitor particularly to Android. Imagine if Chinese manufacturers like Xiaomi, Oppo, Vivo, they all start to use Harmony OS. I mean what's gonna happen with Android? According to some rumors Chinese brands under BBK have already implemented and tested the Harmony OS for their own phones so it could actually be a potential Android replacement OS. Furthermore, there are four distinct technical features of Harmony OS mentioned in the press kit. So first up is the seamless experience across all the devices. Because Harmony OS can be built for so many different devices, it's going to be very seamlessly connected. Next one is the smoothness and high performance. Now we have heard that Harmony OS could actually be around 40 to 60% faster than Android. Huawei's founder once said that their OS will most likely be faster than Android and even Apple's Mac OS. And I believe this is why he said that. So Harmony OS is having something called deterministic latency engine and high performance inter-process communication. Basically, this new engine is going to set the execution for task as priority and it will set time limits in advance. In simpler terms, it's going to reduce the response latency of applications by 25.7%. Hence, because of that, it's going to be smooth and really, really fast. It's further mentioned that the microkernel can make the performance up to five times more efficient than the existing systems. The third main technical feature mentioned is the security. So thanks to microkernel architecture, Harmony OS will come with enhanced security and low latency. The microkernel is designed to simplify kernel functions and it's gonna implement as many system services as possible in the user mode outside the kernel, hence adding a mutual security protection. Protection. It also uses something called formal verification method to reshape its security. And last but not the least is unified system. Harmony OS is said to be powered by multi-device IDEs that allows app developers to develop applications just one time for Harmony OS and they can implement that application across all the different devices. The Harmony OS is also using Huawei R compiler which Android can also use in the future. It's their first static compiler that is much faster compared to what Android currently uses. The execution of the commands are much simpler. That will improve the power and speed of the OS much more. These were the top four technical features mentioned for the Harmony OS. The version 1.0 of the Harmony OS will come later down the year. According to the recent news, Huawei Mate 30 Lite could be the first phone to have Harmony OS and it's going to be released specifically in China in the start and from then on Huawei can release the software globally across the world and if it's actually that good and that easy for developers to make applications then it could actually end Android if it really gets to that level. The amazing thing about all this is that Huawei made the Harmony OS as an open source project. So they're not making this exclusive about their phones only. Other major brands can adopt this software as well. Even Google can adopt this if they want to. It's all looking super exciting. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below regarding the Harmony OS. It's a historical day indeed. We might actually finally have something that's gonna go toe to toe against Android and iOS and may even surpass them. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.